Well, hello there, humans. Happy Earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushka, and today we'll be talking about the, this thing, the T55A, uh, versing, not so much versing, but in context with the T54. And I'm going to break down the similarities, what kind of tank this is, talk a little bit about the history of the vehicle and uh, within the gameplay itself. And I'm also going to show you quickly at the start the armor because the armor is something that is different on these tanks and everyone seems to think it's exactly the same take it away bushka from earlier i'm gonna watch on people seem to enjoy this talk bushka so a lot of people think that the 55a this little muppet here is exactly the same as the 54 especially in terms of armor profile and that's just not the case i agree and i'm going to show you now um this is a 100 millimeter plate on top okay and the sides 80 and up here, you've got a real hodgepodge of armor. Um, the turrets are very, very, very similar. Very okay. similar. Um, so 80 millimeters on the side, 100 millimeters on the front, okay? Let's swap those tanks around now. Who do you think is gonna have more armor? Uh, we go back to the Quick pen, quiz. Think and fast. we're gonna swap them over. And you're gonna see if we pop along to the uh, same Great thing here, this. you can see 80 millimeters on the side, same but 160 millimeters on the front so more millimeters. of the 54. And that's why the 54's armor profile is just much better. But very, very similar numbers around the gun mantlet and such. You can mm. get all kinds of odd and pretty reliable. Like it'll still get penned, don't get me wrong, on the turret. It's not as strong as it used to be, but the T-54 and the T-55, they both have very, very strong turrets for their tiers, which is important. and. I think you'll find something that is universal amongst these mediums is Great language. the sides of the 55, the 54, even the 62A and the 140, you can Secret. put HE Secret. rounds into areas on this side if you have a 150 millimeter plus yeah. gun. And a lot of people don't realize that, damage. but I do, and a I do it thousand a damages. So what we're taking away from that is that there is usually a hue and cry in Blitz. People look at the negatives, the vocal minority, and they will say, Oh, it's just a T-54, but you can buy it and it sucks. And I've said that before myself, so I can't get too down on people for that. And it is, in fact, startlingly similar when you look at it. But the armor profile is more in line with the T-54 lightweight at Tier 8 than it is with the T-54 medium at Tier 9. And by that, I mean the lightweight suffers from the same kind of issue, where the upper glacis works when angled severely, but it doesn't really bounce the way the Tech Tree Tank does when it is at a very strong straight angle. And it's one of the reasons why when you play against Tier 8 tanks, the 54 is a just a beast it is so good the gun this thing runs is the second gun that the t54 can run now you have a choice between two guns one has 201 millimeters of pen the other has 219 millimeters of pen they both have varying varying differences one is slightly more dpm the lower pen one and uh slightly better aim time and all that kind of thing but at the end of the day, I've run both these guns with tremendous amounts of success. The thing that the tank has the same is the feel and play style. Uh, I think that you actually come across um, these tanks in so many different ways in the gameplay, like the 54, the T-54 Mod 1, the Type 59, the WZ-120, all these tanks share commonalities with these two tanks here. And these were the first ones in the game to run this kind of play style, the really, really strong turret uh, on a medium tank with an upper glacis that you can angle severely across and behind little uh, bits of ridgeline like this. Um, but apart from the armor profile, the differences are absolutely super minimal. Um, the 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 mobility is exactly the same. The credit coefficient though isn't. This actually the 55A makes money, which is rare in a tier nine premium. It will make cash. It has I think over 130 percent in terms of a credit coefficient, whereas the T54 has historically had a train wreck of a credit coefficient and they nerfed the credit coefficient on the tank because people were driving it and just firing heat in fact this is one of the tanks that caused the one of the main reasons that mediums got their premium ammo nerf uh, thing going on was because of this tank like 
this thing was called the Heat 54 for good reason. People would run around in this tank and just fire heat. I'm looking at you, Snake Eyes. Uh, I remember, and I've said this many times, I used to run around with like eight heat or six heat um, and still manage with 201 millimeters of AP pen. Snake used to run around with 28 heat <laughs> and four rounds of AP. And I'd say, mate, you don't need the heat for uh, the T43 and he's go, he was like, but Bush Grip pens it, so why wouldn't I use heat? And he's right, like, there was a gameplay mechanic that could be exploited and Snake exploited the crap out of it. Uh, but it cost you a lot of money to run the 54. The 55A is a, a very easy, uh, easy tank to play because it doesn't cost you a lot of cash and it's an exceptionally solid tank to play at tier nine. Is it better than the 54? I don't think so. I'd prefer to play the T54. Uh, if you run the 219mm pen gun on the 54, uh, it's not quite as good as the 219mm pen gun on the 55A, but it's, it's so close. But what you do get with this tank is a tank that plays exactly like the T54 and does it well enough that you don't need to worry about adjusting play style or anything. So if you can run the 54, you can run the 55A. I I think that um, a big issue that I have with uh, tanks like this in Blitz is I'd love to see them enrich the, the tech trees more. And one of the things with that is it, it's all well and good to say i'd prefer this to be a tech tree tank but saying i'd prefer the 55a to be a tech tree tank is kind of a double-edged sword because that also requires a whole bunch more adjustments to other parts of a tech tree it's like saying that i prefer the amx premier proto was a part of a tech tree it's like well do you just shove it in at tier nine how does that work how does it affect that you know other tanks in those lines and how it's a lot more to balancing than just saying this is a tech tree tank that being said i think any tier 10 uh tank should be a tech tree tank i don't believe in getting premiums at tier 10 but if they're there i'm gonna review them i hope you guys are enjoying yourselves out there in the world i hope you're being lovely to each other and uh i hope you keep watching the videos and subscribing to the channel because despite rumors of my demise we keep dropping vids and I think we've had a couple of vids lately that have had nearly 10,000 views in the first day. Just standard good old Blitz. It keeps doing the same numbers. And uh, I keep turning up. And the people that tell me Blitz is dead have been telling me Blitz is dead for three years. <laughs> and it still keeps going. I don't know. People are just funny, man. People have their own agendas and they want their own little slice of paradise. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on Z battlefield oh 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 and uh subscribe to my instagram feed and my socials they're all in the links down below and come to the discord channel where we're giving tanks away etc until next time bye for now bloody hell i finished that one early keep watching because uh i do like another 800 damage and it's important that you see all the numbers because this, this is a mastery game like i don't know why i finished so early i'm gonna push on the ferdinand i what a train wreck of an edit that was go back to youtube school you absolute clown and then i'm gonna just adroitly slip in behind the uh rider at the front of the peloton here and do many many bad things bye